that means you have automatically your 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 uh, automatically your your code operations so you can create one records into the backend server uh, with with rest api and then you can create it we can update it you can delete it that's the basic functionalities when you try to default default repositories so did you use the boilerplate code you don't need to the jdbc connections all connection cost or pooling cost it, it doesn't 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 make any sense because if you use the like the latest technology jpa or jp is being data jpa then you don't need to do a lot of boilerplate code the connection cost and connection code or all, all all things together and need to you need to need to open the connections and close the connection it doesn't need to any sense to do that one to generate the queries by pen method names, I will show you detail this those those things. What I mean here, that you see that there is a available crude operation, crude, crude repositories, there is paging and sorting repositories, and JPA repositories, and then many more. And many more means uh, depending on the which data back backend server you use. If you have a Mongo, then you have Mongo has own own repositories like Mongo Mongo repositories, Mongo paging and sorting repository, Mongo page or Mongo repository normally. This is the thing. So depending on that. But if you are in the, in the SQL world like Postgres or MySQL or Oracle or DB2, then this is the standard uh, crude operations, uh, standard repositories, the default repository you can build very quickly for the crude crude doing the crude operation for your forms or your input your domain models. So that's the that's a really rough idea, and let's let's start to de go go detail how it works and how it's how we can integrate those technologies into the U developments. I mean the your microservices or your REST API developments. So if you follow the, the what is the this is the theory this is only for definition java persistent api this is the specification for persisting or reading or managing data from your java objects to the to the relational tables in the relational database that means this is the very very initial it was on the, the based on the on the on the on the sql based data models or relational database and later it's coming to the play for the non sql world also so that is why this they say jpa specification defined object relational mapping that's true standard sorting you have a standard sorting functionality accessing and managing java object model in a relational database while originally it stand it was the relation it was the very beginning stage it was relational or sql databases only and then later it was applied or it was implemented on non-sql databases also as like mongodb cassandra or gamefire or edx those those type of databases that's defined so that means nowadays jpa works any 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 backend server doesn't matter is a sql based backend servers or is a non sql based backend, backend server doesn't matter so at the moment the two popular implementation that's uh, that's i said the jpa is a specification it has a it has the implementations so that's we know everybody the hibernate is really the most popular uh, implementation of jpa specifications and then at least link is one of the one of, one of them this is their popular definition so that means that jpa is is containing is a specification based on this there is a there is a many many implementations like hibernate and at least tool and this is the one of the questions uh, you have to be clear that spring data spring data is a, is one of the implementation of jpa that means it's not directly the implementation of jpa is abstraction of jpa uh, i mean uh, that means in the in the in the spring data jpa in down level there is orm there is a hibernate maybe um, hibernate and it's running specification uh, in, in specification in the in the, in the it, uh, spring data means it's abstract level abstract level uh, abstract le level implementations or um, implementation of jpa specification that's i mean so if you if you go to the detail in here what is the hypernet framework is we know every board is a warm this is observational mapping is implementation of the jpa specifications of the relation model. if you give the, these pictures like you have a java models you have a java domain models i mean the java main classes or domain classes uh, in the, the domain means in in sense not it is not a, that DAO or data ex, data transfer objects or whatever it is it is domain I mean if you are programming with the groovy or grails then it's called it domain models 
or C is a, is a, is a, if you are in the programming with Java, this is called is a, is a, is a, is also the model or domain model. And if he has defined here, I define here the address information. I will show you detail when I start the implementations because this is the presentation part, how it works, the technology, how I will show you detail how the, uh, the when I start the developments. So it's the, if you see the if you saw the here the address information and it basically is this model with the hypernet the ORM object relational mapping and in the backend server in the PostGIS database it's generated one special tables the address information tables. So this is object relational mapping. So I have objects and I put it this object into the as a as a table into the backend server and then this is the ORM. The we are using here the ORM is Hibernate is playing this role, but, but this is the one of the things. So what is the Spring Data? Spring Data is a, is a, is a, is a Spring based uh, programming model for data access. It doesn't matter which type of data it is. It is SQL based or non SQL based databases. It's, it is it is reducing the huge amount of boilerplate codes to for 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 any sort of the connectivity or any sort of the pooling it's it's maintain itself this those 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 complexity or though how can say those those uh, simplicity or, or flexibility the spring data jp simplify the development of spring application that the, the uses the jpa technology that's why i said this is one of the abstraction of the jpa technology so here is the the spring data overview as that i talk about the spring data jpa or jpa technology is coming to the play in different 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 backend server technology sql or non sql based if you get the picture like spring data jpa technology basically this is the sql based technology that means sql based technology for jpa for the postgres for mysql for oracle or for db db2 or any any sql based databases structure query language databases it doesn't matter which one that's why i said if you model you if you object model or your domain model is model and as like for with with hypernet then you can put those models or the object models into the database any databases depending just you need to be changed your properties the connection properties why your mysql database why your postgres database why your oracle database or why you in informatic database this works automatically but if you are in the non sql database and then then you need to be something to refactor because there is a specific repositories and specific annotations for those those implementation but in the previous screencast i have a many example i have a I have an example for the how can you implement the REST APIs for the MongoDBs, REST API implementation for Redis, and REST API implementation for Gamefire, and REST API implementation for Cassandra, and so on and so forth. But you can go there, and then you can look for look for my channels and look for the those implementation based on the different databases, the microservices. And this is really important. And even though I discuss how can those microservices you can register with the with the with the with the cloud or you with the you could Eureka server, you can follow that those uh, skin cards. Just go to this my my channels and look for the the uh, what you need. So you see that the, the, the all the specific implementation for Spring Data. You see the Spring Data MongoDB, Spring Data Redix. Spin data R2 DV DVC, spin data rest, and then spin data Cassandra, and and then here is the, the game fire and so on and and coast book also the in, in elastic search and this is node node for J and if in the Hadoop uh, this is the the spin data e, in bars and those those are the non SQL databases you can very quickly. And those databases has a JPA implementation, even though they have as little uh, default repositories like crude repositories, JPA repositories, and then even paging and sorting repository, and so on and so forth. It is it is because basically when you have a default repositories in in your hand, and then you can do you what you like to. You have a all crude operation. You can create the, your entities. You can delete it. You can update it. And can you can you can read it though, those entities but if you have a really more extensive uh, those those uh, those and uh, some some extensive some queries methods or the search filter or search functionality or spacing and sorting then you need to be go uh, go farther to how can you integrate those queries and th those 
those those query annotations and concept that I will show you show you later part of the presentation. So here is the 